Oh, uh, should I put mine on just for COVID protocol? How's this? Shall I keep it on? <laughs> Who would have thought a year ago that we'd all become so adept at just grinning and bearing this lockdown pandemic thing? Okay, every now and again we become adolescent and we throw our toys out the cot about it. Wish that things were the way they were before and convince ourselves they are going to be the way they were before, they're never going to be. I think one makes plans, you know, like anything you do. You're just gonna keep on adjusting to a changing world. There's this weird thing happening with lockdown. What I see around me is I see people getting extremely anxious. There's a rise in the levels of everybody's anxiety because there's nobody to blame. So we are collectively going through deep grief. What we're grieving is the loss of our lives as we know it. Grief is a very complex journey and emotion to have. There's no pretty grief. Grief is horrendous, it is primal. It drags you through all the most horrible, negative, primitive emotions that you can think of. It's not only, oh, shame, pain, let's just hold each other through this. Grief is a very, very complex process. It's not one emotion. You might be in total clarity today about what's happening around you. Tomorrow you'll be in denial again. The day after you'll be extremely anxious. The next day you'll be angry. What I'm worried about is that we are not conscious of all of the stuff that's happening to us and that we act out all those emotions irresponsibly. What do we do? How do we comfort ourselves? How do we reach out to each other beyond the physical? You know, we're going to have to help each other. I don't know how to do that. I'm a stubborn independent. How do I know how to do that? I have issues asking for help, and then when I do manage to ask for help, I tend to not really know where to ask for help because I've never really done it before. It's like a new learning curve. I've got to recategorize everything I know about people in terms of getting to a point where I can really ask for help if I need it. We're all going to have to learn to ask for help and give help. Do we know how to do it? We don't. We are herd animals. If the herd doesn't pull together, it scatters and it's vulnerable. We do not pull together because the herd needs to compete against each other for so-called scarce resources. It's a harsh, highly competitive world out there, you know. Even if you don't feel cool, you got to act cool. That's how it works. It hardens your heart. You have to, because it's a survival game. Competition is not the way herd animals function. Yes, there's jostling, but ultimately 
the herd knows its survival is dependent on the herd. All life is interconnected, and I'm not only talking about the planet or our country or our culture or our family. <laughs> we are connected to everybody around us, connected to the universe. The planet is tiny. What are we? We are nothing but everything. Of course, that's how it is. I can't see the future. I can't put on rose-tinted glasses and say, this is what I would like it to be. All I can ask for is that we all are awake enough to see what to do next. And that our hearts are open enough so that we stop this lunacy of only following our heads and learn to listen to our hearts. And maybe what the pandemic is bringing as a gift is that our hearts are cracking open. They are cracking open so that we can follow where they are leading us, because if anything's gonna get us out of that, it's our hearts. The heart doesn't lie, it doesn't. So if your heart is cracking, breaking, heart sore, the light can come in, let it in. It's not broken, it's just opening. It's just opening, let's, let's open it because we've been so hard hearted, all of us in order to survive. It is happening. Where that's going to lead, well, I don't know. Be like water, says Bruce Lee. Be like water. To all of you who have contributed, for those of you who've shared our films, for those of you who have written our comments, this journey is just beginning. And we've put a Patreon link below our films, so if you would like to continue to support us, we'd love for you to donate below. Thanks so much.